just a quick intro for this video um i did want to do a ranked gameplay walkthrough kind of so i went into ranked with an open mind and just kind of like found some random teammates on the uh, group finder because all of my um ranked gameplay that i have saved actually has kind of like commentary already like it has call outs it has our you know communication within the game and i wanted to do a ranked game where i cut that out and put in my own so that you guys can like hear like the back voice behind what's really happening so i cut out our comms a little bit late in the game um because i wasn't quite ready it was my first game on and uh, we actually did really really well and it, it worked out so I found these dudes, they were super nice. So sit back and relax and enjoy this ranked gameplay with some commentary over it. Rovi, do you want to play pubs or ranked? I'm not more good. I do want to play ranked, but... Yeah, yeah though, right. I'll play Rovi. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I watched your video yesterday. Me? Did My video? I watched yeah. your video yesterday and then like... Yeah, you know. so. Game with you now. Oh god, how we win? I'm fucking platinum four. Oh, come in, oh, come in. Oh, me. Oh, you're kidding no me. I might be able to assassinate them. Okay, so we all know that at the beginning of a game, it's just a mess. It can be lucky, it can be unlucky, but try to outwit your opponent and um, catch them off guard. So right here, I'm basically just trying to jump down, catch someone off guard, and I actually got really lucky with a few headshots here. Okay. Not bad, boys. I sacrificed myself for that fishing one more. You really did. <laughs> They're coming. I heard the zip line. When I heard the zip, I immediately got ready for him and took some shots. So I get the respawn in, and right when I do, they push us on the roof because they hear it. Now, this is important because I decided to switch to the uh, triple take instead of the R99 at close range and that's because when they came up the zip line they weren't focusing me and I realized that I could get some easy high damage shots in um, while trying to keep my distance. There's two types of weapons and I went with the peak shot weapon so it's basically like I could do the R99 and just mow them down and just one on one just gun them down but um, well right now we're at a disadvantage with two people uh, with weapons so I'm going with this peak, peak shot style because all I'm doing is I'm using the cover of the, uh, the respawn beacon, and I'm peeking out and I'm taking one shot at a time, uh, and just getting back into cover so I don't take any damage. I was afraid of being shot while I'm looting. So right now I'm actually covering him while he is looting, um, and then we we take turns. I go out and I check. Uh, they went on to find. Uh, find one guy who had run away from the from the battle and um, I was actually messing with my audio so they found him killed him while I was changing my audio settings and um, we will continue from right about here the first part is over of your ranked game your first kind of like wave of worry is over so most games the worst part of a game is the beginning because you're trying to avoid dying and um, in ranked, the most important thing, especially early game, is just not dying. So, once you get to this point in a ranked game, this is when like the real kind of like ranked stuff takes over because, like half the time, you're gonna go into a ranked game and you're gonna get screwed at the beginning, and you're gonna have only one person alive who runs away and just hides somewhere. We hear somebody in this area and. One of, a couple of us took some high ground positions. I'm actually low ground right now. So I got I got his attention so that this guy right here could, to, could get some better shots in. And uh, I zipline especially took a lot of attention off of him. One of them was shooting at me like the whole time. Hopefully that'll give him a, a chance to get a couple good shots in. So now I'm the one who needs to get into the fight because they're now getting the attention on them. One of my mistakes that I made right here was not jumping down to help them right away. I did reposition to the other side. Hopefully I can get a couple good. Yeah, there we go. So 
I got one down, and they got one of us down. So it's definitely like a 2v2 right now. He had called that guy out as being low, so I, I definitely focused him. And then now we just 2v1, you know, 2 on 1 kill the last guy together. Okay, so now I'm really, really worried about, like, a third party, because I definitely heard some shots from not too far away, kind of shooting in on us while we were fighting. So instead of looting right away, since I'm full health, I'm actually guarding them while they heal and loot and do what they need to do. Definitely looking for batteries. Everyone likes batteries. <laughs> And there's a battery. See, I was wondering where this guy's loot went. So we're in the zone, and we were talking about um, not wanting to go through the tunnel. And this is because um, we could take a wraith portal, we could shoot smoke, get, uh, get ourselves out of the tunnel, but as a pathfinder, you're not going to want to go indoors as much as possible. And the reason why is because his zipline and his grapple are completely useless on the inside of like a building or inside of a tunnel. So we're actually going all the way around. It's good to stay on the edge of a zone and just go rotate around one side of it. And the side that you pick is actually very important as well. Um, right here, there's less likelihood of people converging on this point than there would be on um, the capital side of the mountain or on in the tunnel over there. So now I'm actually continuing the um, the path of rotating around the edge. And they actually went a little bit too far into the center of the circle. And I have I just ended up clashing into a team right here. And uh, I was a little bit by myself trying to heal and stay out of the, uh, the fight as much as possible. You don't want to make yourself a target. It's a very important, it's like, if you feel like you're losing a fight, don't make yourself a target. There's been so many times where we're losing a fight, we're down a guy, and the person who's on my team is just out, poking their head out, looking around, making themselves a target. If you just keep your head down, and you're not a target, then you're not gonna, you're not gonna make them want to push on you. So right here, like, they didn't push on me, they put a zip line. So they didn't push because they didn't have anybody down. No. So quad is actually pushing up, and I was really worried about this. Push at least having one person push. So I definitely went in and helped them out as soon as I could. You gotta commit as a team. If one person commits, everyone commits. Kills, guys. If you don't thirst them, they're gonna get revived. They're gonna wander away. Very important to get these thirsts. It gives you the points too. Definitely need the points. Here, right here, I found the guy who ran away. He made it all the way over here. I got some really good shots on him as he got away, but this is an, a very important moment. I'm at the very high ground of the area right here, and I was chasing him, but. I'm not going to want to continue this chase because I'm going to deposition myself. I'm going to put myself in a really bad position if I continue the chase. So I pointed out where he went, but I didn't continue the chase. I stayed back on the high ground. I wanted to hold that hold that value positioning. <laughs> right there, I was laughing my ass off because the box flew out from behind the rock. That was hilarious. But yeah, I allowed my teammate to go down and kill that guy while I just held the, the high ground because I'm more focused on the end game result than I am on just the one kill. Right here, they were very antsy and wanted to push up on this fight. I did kind of want to hold back and just hold this high ground. Right now we got four squads left, which means that these two teams are going to fight. And once they're done, it's going to be three teams. And in that three-team situation, you really don't want to be the ones in the middle of the fight. But this is where we're getting very aggressive, and sometimes aggression just pays off. In general.
I actually did have my back to a team. They just had it coming, so they were late. Uh, but if they had come a little bit earlier, they would have taken advantage of my, you know, my back being to them, and they could have shot me and killed me. Oh, that lag is bad. Very bad. So this team is just like. Now it's three squads. This is where you need to be the most worried about a third party situation. When there's three squads in a game and you start fighting, there's always going to be a third party. Luckily, it just got cut down to two squads really quickly. So now we just got one squad left. And they kind of missed their, uh, their chance to third party here. So I did get hit. So these guys were very, very aggressive on this last team, which is pretty good. You do want to be very aggressive, and we singled out one of the, uh, we singled out the pack, right? so that's actually super good. Getting that advantage on a team is like the most important thing. It didn't even matter. <laughs> so right there, in the back of my head, I was actually thinking I probably should have thirsted that guy. A lot of people at the end of a game will have that gold knockdown shield and could be self reviving right now. Oh yeah, I remember Playford wanted to do a uh, punch kill on the last guy. He did have a Mastiff though. It's kind of scary trying to punch somebody who has a Mastiff. There we go. Um, there's a lot more tips that I have for ranked. The element of fear is actually really strong. And this is something that like no one really thinks about. And it's just like, basically, when it comes down to your initial fight with a team, if you're the one who shoots them first, if you're the one who puts damage on them, you're putting that element of fear on them. You're putting that, oh god, like, I don't know if we can like take this fight, or like, I think we should, you know, maybe do this, or maybe leave this way or maybe go this way and you're causing that kind of like chaos within that team that dynamic that they've like been holding on to so definitely include that into your thought processes and you'll you'll see it pay off it also does work in the reverse so if they get a shot on you first and you're not paying attention or if you're looting and you get shot i kind of refer to it as they're getting a bite of you um Kind of like when a shark smells blood, they're going to come in, they're going to want to push, they're going to want to be aggressive because they get that taste of it and they see that your team is weakened, disadvantaged, and they're going to want to push on you. Basically, you don't need to worry about getting kills. Kills are your points in a sense, like you do want to get the kills, but you need to not worry about it. Um, especially at the beginning of a game, do not worry about getting kills. You will get kills at the end of a game if you survive long enough well I, I you know I can't think of anything else right now at the, uh, at the moment I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple of things which I can include in future videos for you guys but uh, for the most part uh, that's about it so good luck out there hopefully you guys' ranks will you know grow grow hopefully you guys' ranks will uh, improve and uh, I hope I wish you guys the best of luck